Oh, I see what we're supposed to do. This is level design, all right? Watch this. Oh no, you're gonna catch up to me, you big scary man. Ah, we're gonna go down here. Ah, oh no, what's gonna happen if you follow me down this tunnel, big scary man? All right. Now I have all the time in the world to lose him. He's not gonna know, no, no idea where I am. Not gonna have no idea. <clears throat> look at this, look at this guy. He's lost me completely. All right. And we should be able to just go right back down if it will let me. Why isn't it letting me go down? Huh? There we go. Get a good look at you. Nice boots. Practical foot hey, where uh, I like the thing that they preserved from the original game. The original game's models have really weirdly webbed hands. So if you look at this, his glove is still webbed. He can't move anything other than the pinky and the thumb. The rest are all stuck together. You see that? That's really cool. Really cool attention to detail. Uh, one of the interesting things about his introduction cutscene, which I mentioned, what was it, yesterday when we got to it, is he throws his arms around in his cutscene in a really creepy, herky-jerky way. That's actually a reference to the original cutscene, where he does that. But in the original, it doesn't look that weird, because it's just like, it looks like he's just weirdly interacting and thrashing around. Uh, but obviously, because the game has much higher fidelity, it looks very different. So they they basically kept it super true to the original, and that made it an even more creepy thing. Whoa! Whoa! All right, I'm locked on. All right, what's this? Good. Oh, the wire cutters. That's what I need to progress. More enemies in this open area up here is never good. Okay, stay away.
All right, good night, Zam. Thanks so much for watching. All right, so now we just need to, uh, now we just need to go <clears throat> back to the start. Is Pyramid Head not here in this one? Oh, fucking A. I said Pyramid Head, Great Knife. I'm very curious if the Great Knife is still in this game. I, I would guess that it is not. At least not in a first playthrough. Though I am wondering, maybe we have to go back. Okay, that's cool. Cool transition. Part of me wants to walk back and see if maybe the knife is in his room now. Oh, no, the whole area changed. Very PT. Raph says, was the movie responsible for people being horny for Pyramid Head, or was that from before the movie? That existed well before the movie. But the movie Pyramid Head was like a trained ballerino, so he was like ripped and had a crazy good body control. Pass says, if he switches to his spear, I'd hard track, uh, backtrack to hunt for the knife. I don't know if we can make it back here. What are all the things I need? I don't know. Have I already been through here? Is this a place to go through? I don't think so. Just trying to figure out how to navigate this place is like work. Because <laughs> I can't see very well. Okay, can't go back through there. I, I thought I already did this one, didn't I? Let's go up and check. This is the one I just did, right? So if I go over here, this should be inaccessible now. It is inaccessible. Okay. Is there another one that we have simply not navigated to yet? Let us examine the course. What about right here? Is this a place we can go to? Sure fucking looks like it. All right. Oh, it's just a room with ammo. That's nice. I love it when the game is nice to me. 
Triangle down. All right, we need the triangle down door. <clears throat> That's the one. Let's go check on Maria real quick. And this is kind of surprised by how long the game is. Thought it would have been done at eight hours. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think I think the game is pretty long. It's uh, I think it's about twenty hours, is what people said. Just given the difference in how you move and and the expanded areas and stuff, it's about twenty hours, twice the length of the original. Am I free now? Is this the last door, or is it is this the last challenge, or did we make it through? Ruined area, okay. I think it's really creepy when they leave a bunch of dead enemies in an area and it's like, you get to decide what happened here, buddy. This is the house we encountered Pyramid Head in. Is this supposed to be James's house? This is the same apartment. And then they came through that door. Yep. Yep, they sure did. Oh, I know what they want me to do right now and I'm not loving it. You like how I recognize that right away too? I knew instantly. That is the room Pyramid Head came from. This is the door we met. This is the room we met him in. <laughs> wow. Instant death. Oopsie. <clears throat> I just got, just turned to goo. I don't know if this like pre-damages them at all. I wonder if there is like a pacifist ending in this game for like doing stuff without, or for avoiding enemies and not killing them. Cause that could be really cool. Without getting hit. Is it gonna be another combat gauntlet? Oh, it fucking is. Of course it is.
what? What? They were... She took a shotgun shot. She didn't even go down. Oh, man. Do I have to do them all? I have to do them back to back. Are you kidding? All right. I'm going to give myself health so that I can avoid this. All right. Grab that. Grab that. Touch this immediately. Doing a little bit worse for wear. It's fine. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get this one. It'll be okay. I'm guessing I have to do three. Are we ready or what? Oh my god, fucking die, please. Holy smokes. We all know what's coming next. All right, once more. Oh, it's just these things, nice. That's fine. The trick is to use these transitions a lot because they can't hit you during them.
There we go. We did it. Woof. Alright, that was tough. Uh, but we made it through and we, we didn't really need to use too many major resources, which is good. Great. Okay, bye. Oh, God. Oh, God. We need to keep him close to us because these things are afraid of him. They're mannequins that were embedded in the walls. Okay, we did it. <sighs> Room 208. She has lesions. She's sickly and dying on a hospital bed marked room 208. In that restless dreams, I see that town, Silent Hill. You promised me you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now in our special place waiting for you. I suppose they do look kind of alike, but not really. The hair changes everything. The eyes change everything. But yeah, sickly lesions all over her face, her legs, her hands. She's not doing great. There was a woman's sighing or gasping there a second ago. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> The Great Knife. Whoa. Oh. Oh. 
we can scare the creatures with the great knife. That's a clever callback to the original where the great knife would scare enemies. So we learned in that previous cutscene, or in that previous encounter, that these enemies were afraid of the great knife. Interesting. And that's what lets him get through here. That's really cool. That's a cool way to integrate the Great Knife into this remake. I like that a lot. This music's great. Oh, the graveyard puzzle's back. Angela Orozco. Eddie Dombrowski, James Sunderland. Too faded to read. Miriam K. Trader, Walter Sullivan. Miriam is the name of the character from the medium, I think. Traitor. Interesting. That's a cute little homage to to Bloober's other works. I think her last name started with a K. Is it say George something Olenstan? Is that the main character of uh, Layers of Fear? This felon drank one last bottle of ale before he was executed and laid here to his eternal rest. <laughs> Courtesy shells. All right. What a stellar remake. I am looking at this and I'm just thinking, God, I hope they remake Silent Hill 1 and 3 as well, and 4. I hope they just own Silent Hill from now on. This is so good. <laughs> I, I would love to see Silent Hill 1 redone in this style. enough alone huh you just had to follow me all the way out here how many times do I have to kill you Eddie 
Whoa. Eddie, it's me. It's me. Oh. Uh. Hi, James. Eddie, what are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? You fat, disgusting piece of shit, you make me sick. You gonna cry, fat ass? You gonna run to your mama? Waste of skin, why don't you just kill yourself? Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And a corpse can't laugh! Eddie. What's that? You want to talk down to me some more? Tell me to relax? You're just like the rest of them, James. No, I don't want to. Shut up! You think I'm stupid. You think I don't see it. But you've been laughing at me all along. Ever since we first met. But you ain't laughing now, are you? <clears throat> you need help, Eddie. Don't get all holy on me, James. This town called you too. You, you and me, we're the same. We're not like other people, don't you know that? Well, you're about to find out. So Eddie has his own Maria. This guy looks like Harry Mason, which is kind of cool. It's obviously not him, but... I really like this setup of ice as Eddie's... Like, snow, cold, ice as Eddie's kind of symbol here. Oh, there's two of them right next to each other. They're the same guy. Three, four. Yeah, there's a whole ton of them. Five. It's all the same dude. That's really cool. Do you know what it does to you, James? When you hate it? Picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look? Yeah, I ran away after I killed that dog. But you know what? It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> and now it's your turn, James. I see him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he can dodge us too. See you, asshole.
Oh my god. Damn. Damn, he fucked me up. Alright, Eddie, I guess... <laughs> I guess you're not fucking around, dude. Oops. I pressed the wrong button to uh to pull out my gun. <laughs> Let's get him. There you are. I tried to dodge that, damn it. Why why isn't my dodge working? That's weird. Hold on, give me a second. Technoclock says, do you fight him in the original? Yep. Right in this room, too. There you are. Ha -ha! Oh, damn it. <laughs> ah, he... He, uh, uh, armored, hyper-armored through my attack. He shot me even though I hit him with a pipe. This is going to be a tough fight, I think. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I think this is going to be the hardest boss fight in the game. Nope. Oh, he got me. No. I ain't scared, you're scared. Stop crying, Eddie. Whoa, how'd he get me? I also had, I was healed. How the heck did he? Damn it, that's brutal. All right, we'll do it. I did really well that first attempt. All right, let's try to heal ourselves immediately. You die here, James. You'll squirm and squeal and cry like a little girl. And then you'll just curl up and die. And it's gonna feel great. Just like before. There you are.
There we go. Oh. <laughs> Eddie and James kind of look a little similar. I've never put that together before. God damn. That was a good boss fight too. That was an interesting take on the Eddie fight. I like that it was like actually kind of tough. Montana. <laughs> Here we are. Let's look around here. I've always loved this weird little map. <laughs> 